I didn't realize it when I looked in the mirror. I look back at photos now and I go, man, why didn't any of you guys tell me? Growing up, I played sports as a kid, baseball, basketball, football, and I was pretty active. I was always outdoors. I basically got to eat, you know, whatever I wanted, however I wanted, snacks, snacks, snacks. My metabolism was quick then. It was no, it was really no big issue. As I got older, I stopped playing sports in general, and I was more into uh, hanging out and partying. A typical weekend would just consist of barbecue chips, Dr. Pepper, and just order up some pizza, hang out, try to get our hands on a 12 pack, 24 pack. I think growing up, going through college and working as many hours as I did, I was content, I was happy with life. It wasn't until I had realized my size 42 jeans and that I felt overweight finally and bloated and heavy and slow and out of breath and tired, 24, 25 years old. And this, this isn't how I wanna live my life. I wasn't angry at myself, um, I was more disappointed in myself that I had let myself go without realizing it. Letting myself go was more like an unforeseen happiness that wasn't truly happiness, it was just like a pastime really. I think channeling that disappointment into, man, I need to make something better of myself and, and actually you know, get, get in shape because who knows what I could potentially be going down and becoming a diabetic or anything like that. So I, I channeled that disappointment into a positive reinforcement really to make a change and to do my own research. I needed to figure out the diet. Yeah, I lost all the weight, but now how do you build muscle? Um, how do you continue to grow strength? And how do the guys that you see, Arnold, for example, I mean, how does that even work? Everything you need to find is, is on the internet. And so I just spent the time researched uh, protein, carbs, fats, uh, different supplements, just what would be beneficial and how do you do it. I found Chris Gethin's 12-week transformation program and I basically just started following that and I just really loved his whole attitude and his motive as far as, you know, fuck complacency and that just really spoke to me in a really loud word like, you know, just, just keep going. So his DDP program, yeah, I jumped right into that right after the 12-week program and man, did that kick my butt. From there, I basically followed other trainers, followed Jim Stepani, started doing programs from him and uh, Lane Norton, and just kind of all around, just program after program, utilizing body space to track my progress as I went. And slowly but surely, um, you know, before I knew it, 135 pounds on bench turned into 225 pounds, and, and everything else just soon followed suit. I think, you know, going, going through as you're, you're lifting and losing weight and your body's transforming, you definitely notice it and looking in the mirror and starting to see a little bit of definition and you get pretty pumped up. You, you feel like, you know, hey, keep going, you're doing something right. Um, family members start telling you you're looking really good. So it's a great feeling when you hear people say, you know, what are you doing, you know, and you start talking to them and tell them about everything you're doing. And they're like, oh man, that's just dedication. I said, you know what, anyone can do it. You just gotta put forth the effort. Um, outside the gym, things would change as far as my energy levels. You know, I was, I was more focused or active at work. I didn't feel sluggish. Um, I was just a lot more on point. Just the energy was higher. You really feel good. Um, you want to keep going. My, my family life turned really good. I, I had my son. That really changed and opened my eyes as well. Um, having him just made me want to be even more dedicated to make sure that he would grow up a healthy lifestyle, uh, camping, hiking, and uh, be able to do that with his father. Getting more active with my son was really my primary goal, so being able to take him on hikes, and we've had some good times and climbing up some mountains together, so um, little guy's five now, and he loves nothing more than going hiking, so as he was a baby, we got a backpack I was able to carry him on and we'd, we'd go on all kinds of hikes and trails and I got involved in a, uh, a group that went hiking twice a week called Lazy Ass Hikers. A bunch of cool people just trying to go out and hike some local trails in our area. I have my son on my back all the time, my dog at my side. It's a really rewarding feeling knowing that he'll get those memories and to grow up wanting to be outdoors. And it's really important for me to be able to be in shape so I can keep up and do that um, and, and really enjoy it to its fullest, you know. Going to Yosemite and climbing Half Dome would be a complete goal and I'm not gonna do that 250 pounds, 25% body fat 
choking on air and needing an oxygen tank. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. For anyone that wants to change, you really first have to dig deep and say you want it. If you want it bad enough, you're gonna do it. Um, the best place to start is just sign up at your local gym or go out on walks, get on some hiking trails even, and consistency. Consistency is the only secret, it is the only key. Um, as long as you're doing something, you're in the right direction already. Strive to understand and learn your body. Um, that is the best way to achieve end results. Everybody's body is different. And unfortunately, what worked for me won't really work for you other than consistency. So getting out there and, and really learning yourself and your body is the best way to do it. Don't be afraid. You should be uncomfortable when you're in the gym. You know, do that exercise till that muscle's burning. Push past the burn till you can't lift that, that weight anymore. That's gonna develop um, more change than you really realize in the long run. And again, as you keep doing that, the consistency follows, the results will come.